How's it going on everybody? One Doctor Genius here and welcome back to our Prodigy video on our Mythical Epic series on how to get ourselves the one and only Mythical Epic known as Riptide. I believe that's his name. Don't think I forgot in a day. Anyways, what we're here to do is we're here to collect the compass which we need to get one more off and then after that I'll also collect the surfboard. Now if you're wondering where to get the previous four compasses, I'd recommend you guys check out my previous video in which I showed that. So anyways, the best way to look around would be to like basically look around Skywatch and see if there are any unpopped balloons which have reappeared on the map. Now I'm expecting one to be on this side over here, you guys know next to the monster over here. No, okay, not, it's not, okay. It seems like we might actually have to do some searching around over here to get it. Huh. Odd, very odd indeed, I must say so myself. Let's head over here, let's head up over here. Oh, okay, so what we know is the balloon can't be over here, so I guess we'll have to head up and check. Okie dokie, that's going quite well. It seems like we just need to do one more attack. Okay, so we have one step closer to figuring out if the balloon is up over here, or if the, what do you call it, crates, no, the metal chest thingy majigi on top has spawned in, or if it has been, or if it hasn't. If it hasn't, well then I guess we'll have to check the other three areas. Okay, so now that we've defeated the two birds which are blocking our path, over here we can head up over here and see if it has not renewed okay it has not renewed we can head back over here and I guess we can now try eliminating the down portion over here let's see if there's anything which has like gotten itself back in over here let's head down over here and check quickly okay so now that we've done that battle we can head straight down and see if anything else wait we haven't checked the shack although I doubt there'd be anything here Okay, so that's another possibility eliminated. Let's head down over here and see. Okay, that hasn't renewed itself either, so let me just head across over here and head up. We'll see if anything is spawned up over here, and if not, I guess it will eliminate all possibilities and we'll only have to go in one direction. Okay, so let's head to the side over here and see if there is, in fact, anything up over here which is spawned back in. Otherwise, we'll have to check the other two areas. Okay, Unfortunately, no, over here as well, it seems like the box hasn't spawned in. Now, I think there's only one last place I could bother checking, which would be below the wine stock. But I really don't expect anything to be over here. Yeah, as you guys can see, you have yourselves Pippet, but it doesn't seem like we can do anything else. So I guess we'll have to wait another day. In the meantime, I guess we can go after one of the, what do you call it, surfboards, which we can find. So let's start collecting them in, what do you call it, Shipwreck Shore. Okay, now over here, because of how long it takes Prodigy to load, what we can do is if you quickly spam click up over here, what you guys could see is, depending on how long it takes for your character move and Prodigy to load, you could quite rapidly get across the area without having to battle the monsters. You just need some lag. Okay, as you guys can see, we can just head up over here, and then there will be a chest to our left, right? So what you want to do is you just want to head over there. Now, fun fact, you can actually sneak all the way to that chest and beyond, right? You just have to click to the side over here, as you guys can see. You can go over here, you can click on the sand pile, and as you guys can see, we get a surfboard from that sand pile, and now we can head to the left and cross off this entire area, right? You guys can see this trip drop is going to be easy to obliterate. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can head directly underwater and see if there's anything over here which will be of any value. Right, so let's just head over here. And okay, there's nothing over here, so we can head right back. Okay, so we have one area. We actually have two areas cleared, so now we can just sneak our way down over here. Just head up over here. What you guys can do is you can quickly head to the side over there. And that sand pile doomed. I don't expect it to give us a surfboard, but very well, might as well keep expectations. Hello? Ah, okay, yes. I was right to not expect it to give us anything. And okay, so that is 5k to both monsters, meaning we should be able to 3-shot them. Normally, it would might take us 4 attacks, but you know what? 1 attack, it saves some time. Okay, so let's head down over here now. I do expect to fight another monster over here as you guys can see So I'll quickly switch up my pet team and then we'll start battling But after teleporting through this sand hole over here You guys can see we can just come up over here and dig the sand pile and from it What you guys can see is we get ourselves a surfboard So now we're at two surfboards, which is half of what we need I guess the only thing which you need to do is we just need to go over here and check the areas if there's anything Right, you guys can very quickly get across this entire area over here, right? You can just go down over here and you can check, there's another sand pile over here, although I do not expect it to give us a surfboard. Yes, as you guys would expect, it did not give us a surfboard. So we're back over here and let's head back. Now, obviously the next two chests are going to be up on this mountain. 
Now before we do that, I'm just gonna switch my pet team again because both of these guys are absolute trash, okay? Let me just say this, the electric pets are very not good. So let's just battle them using our wizard, at least we do 4k damage guaranteed. Well, I guess we can use our all-out attack. Okay, so let's head aboard the ship, and let's check the hall over here now. I don't expect anything to be here, but I do expect something to be up on the top over here. Like, you'll see there will be several chests and an area off to the side. Alright, so from this, I'm not expecting any surfboards, but let, we'll see. No, okay, yeah, as you guys would see, let's head to the side over here in the captain's hall. There's nothing over here as well. Let's head up over here. Let's head up once again. Oh, wait, 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 there's a chest. Okay. There are two chests. Okay, that's good. Okay, so it seems like that from this chest over here we get ourselves a surfboard, so I don't expect a surfboard from this chest, but we'll see. Maybe we get lucky. Maybe Prodigy was gracious in their placing placements. Nope. Too much of an expectation. Let's head to the side over here. Ah, another one. Let's just go over there then. Okay, so the chest is over here. Let's go and open it and see if it does have the surfboard in it. And as you guys can see, just like that, it has the surfboard. So now we can go hunting for Luminite. You can trade it in. And as you guys can see, it seems like Luminite is over here somewhere in uh, Bonfire's Spire. Now I... Oh, okay, that's... No. Luminite should be... Uh, yeah, I honest... Oh, yeah. Luminite should be somewhere in Shipwreck Shore. Anyways, let's give... Uh, what do you call it? Let's select the surfboards, give it, and then blah 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 You guys can see we can now start a tracking quest, right? You can click the track button, and then boom, just like that. Now you might be wondering, well, where could our opponents be? Well, we just... Oh, okay, that's quite... That's quite close by. Let's just head up over here and battle Luminite. Wait, no. no, 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 let's battle Titus and then see what happens, right? No, what is it? Aquatide, yeah, let's battle Aquatide and start the battle. So as you guys can see, like usual, we seem to have 7 turns and our health for some reason is 400 lower. Huh. Prodigy, is this some sort of new thing you've been working on that my health isn't recovering or something like that? You know, I'm just, I'm just butchering this guy's name. Riptide, Riptide, oh my god, that's the name. Why am I remembering Aquatide? Anyways, you guys can see we've casted our attack, and so did our enemy cast their attack. Now, I want to observe what their attack is going to be like. Alright, so you guys can see we cast our attack, and then when Aquatide has to retaliate, what you guys can see is that the pet basically casts its attack first, jumps up on its hind legs, and then swings its paws up and down. Wah wah, cruising. Okay, it seems like we're really close to actually being able to capture, or well, get 33% on the heart meter for Riptide. Okay, so we need to cast one or maybe two more attacks. Yeah, okay, as you guys can see, it seems like unfortunately it was just barely not enough to capture Riptide. So I guess, based on the matter of fact that it's three, I guess we'd have to answer approximately two questions for 66%, and you would have to answer... wait, no. This means it leaves us with two turns remaining, so meaning we'd have one turn remaining when we finish that. And in this, for the last one, you guys will see you'd have to answer all of your questions correct if you want to catch Riptide on the first attack. Bum bum ba ba! As you guys can see, we've casted our caster. You've casted our question correct, and oh wow, Riptide's running animation is interesting. It seems like they cause bottle logging on the plant and then run with their tail or something. I don't know, I didn't see it properly. But anyways, let's play that again. Well, and now we have gotten ourselves a little bit of progress on catching Aqua Tide. Riptide, yes. Okay, I'm con- For some reason, I continuously remember its name is Aqua Tide, not Riptide. Anyways, as you guys can see, we now have its name, so I can at least remember it properly. And I guess in our next video, we'll be getting the Arctic Corals, or that one remaining compass, right? Yeah. One of the two. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciated it. And if you did, and if you made it to this e and if you made it to the end, well, I'd recommend you guys hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys haven't already. Thank you to everyone for doing that. And yeah, and bye.